Hello, this is me, Daniel Eastman Fairsman, back again with the Star Wars The Black Series figure review. Today we're going to be having a look at C-3PO and Babu Frick. This is an exclusive to... I don't know, so answers on a postcard. Because honestly, I cannot keep up with the amount of exclusives that Hasbro are releasing. We've got Commander Fox, we've got the First Order Snowtrooper, Elite Snowtrooper... Tons of others, tons of others. As far as I'm aware, it's an exclusive for the UK at least to specialist retailers such as Forbidden Planet and online retailers. But yes, as per usual, we'll have a quick look at the packaging, then the figure itself. As with all Black Series packaging, it's pretty standard issue stuff. You've got the nice black front there with lovely artwork by Gregory Titus on the front. Name of the characters as well. So as the Black Series on the top. Nice bubble so you can have a look. Try before you buy kind of feel. On the side you've got C3PO and Babu Frick's name there as well. And on this side we have no number. Typically figures are numbered. This one's unnumbered because it's an exclusive and uh, of course you've got their names there as well. On the back you've got Star Wars The Black Series of course. Nice picture by Gregory Titus again. Featured, but it's covered by a ton of text giving you a description about both characters, which I will include in the description below if you do want to read it in your own leisurely time. Also, we have that lovely legal garb, which we all can just completely forget about because it's not interesting. And finally, the main thing that I love about this packaging, even though I do think it needs a bit of a freshen up because we've seen it for far too long now, it's outstayed its welcome a little bit. But the one thing I do like about it is its functionality, the fact that you can take the figure out of the packaging and you can always reseal it up if you want to or if you want to keep the packaging. If not, this can go straight in the bin. It's really up to you. But if you're a hoarder like me, it's always great to keep these on hand if you want to reseal your figures up. Anyways, onto the figures themselves, of which I have here. One of them is very, very small. I'm sorry if my chunky fingers are going to get in the way of you looking at him, but I'll, I'll do my best. The main feature, of course, is this figure, C-3PO. A couple of days ago, maybe even a week or so now, uh, we did get the Rise of Skywalker trailer, and C-3PO, surprisingly to us all, stole the show. Just with one simple line line that just hit me at least and I'm sure many others in the field. Taking one last look sir at my friends. I'm really looking forward to what part 3PO is going to play in this next film. I think it's going to be pretty emotional. What we do know about actually both these characters, Babu Frick is a droid tinkerer, a maker, and he accesses C-3PO's memories. So this could really go um, either way with 3PO. We could have some pretty crazy flashback sequences from the prequels and other stuff. I mean, just look at how I've got him now. He's got Chewbacca's blast. Some pictures have shown him with Ray's uh, staff. The red eyes that we saw in the first trailer. What's happening to him? This isn't the prissy C-3PO that we all have come to know and love. This is a major character change. He doesn't look like he's fluent in all forms of communication. He looks like he's fluent in kicking ass. Um, I do feel like this may be a bit of a throwaway thing though. Most likely memeable. I'm not completely sold that we're going to see C-3PO full on fighting. But who knows? Actually mentioning about the red eyes as well that we've seen C-3PO have in the trailer. If you put this figure in your refrigerator for a couple of minutes, his eyes will actually turn to red. Which is a feature that I really like, but at the same time, it kind of gives a bit of a toy feeling. Black Series collecting, to me, has always been a bit more aimed at the adult collector. So for me personally, I would have preferred if we got an interchangeable head with the red eyes pre-painted. Nonetheless, it's an interesting little feature that they've added in. It's similar to the Dryden Voss that they released. It's a somewhat innovative thing. Let's have a zoom in, because I've been waffling on for far too long in front of you guys. Here he is. Um, you can kind of see a bit of the red eyes because it isn't particularly too warm in my flat at the moment. This is, I think, the third or fourth repo we have. Depends if you want to count the uh, 40th anniversary vintage one. Although, really, it is just a repack that figure. And, of course, we are going to be getting one at some point this year or next, which features some interchangeable parts to make it look like his wires are exposed so you can display him inside a cargo net with Chewbacca, which... 
I'm looking forward to, I definitely want that. But I think after that's released, I think I'm all 3 would out. I think I've got all the 3 POs I could possibly need in Black Series. Unless they do release a Phantom Menace one, which is him just completely naked with all his parts showing. But yeah, as far as it goes, it's just a pretty standard 3 PO. I think they have updated the articulation on this one though from the previous ones. He does feature elbow articulation now, which the other one doesn't have. But I will go through articulation a bit more depth in a bit. He's got some really nice paint apps and paint features. It's mainly the accessories that I think sets this figure off and makes it different from all the other 3 POs that we've had. Um, but if I just take Bandolier off, so I'll take that off now just so you can have a look at the figure itself. Yeah, you can see all his wires exposed there, his head and uh, his legs as well. We've got full gold, full gold, no mismatched pieces with Freepio here. In terms of accessories and stuff, he does come with Babu Freak, but we'll get into him in a moment because I feel like he's a figure in his own right. Um, but he does feature, if I want to call this an accessory, because Babu Frick is a... Uh, Droid Tinker, and as we saw in the trailer, he was working on the back of 3PO's head. You can remove this panel, and you can expose the back of his head, so Babu Freak can do his thing, and uh, just have a little tinker with his memories and stuff. Which is really, really cool. I like that feature. I like that they've included that. It's not been seen with any other 3PO yet, and it doesn't hinder articulation either, which is great. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of paint detailing in there, a lot of sculpting. Overall, it just looks really, really nice. He also comes with Chewbacca's bowcaster, which comes in two pieces just to fit it in the packaging. Um, it's fairly easy to slot together. It's quite nicely weathered as well. Some nice silver shine to it, which is pretty nice. But it is um, a standard Chewbacca bowcaster at the end of the day. It's pretty much been repacked from the existing Chewbacca. Same with the bandolier as well, really. So it's still quite nicely painted. And that does fit over Freepio quite loosely. But, um, it does sit. It does sit fairly well. Um, and, of course, they have sculpted Freepio's hand to have a trigger finger. So he can actually hold the bowcaster. Which I don't think any other free PO has featured. Because he's never really seen holding a blaster. Although that's arguable because we did see him in Attack of the Clones with one. But he did have his head switched round. So that's all the accessories he really comes with. Um, aside from, of course, Babu Frick. Who I think I should probably get into. So if I zoom in even more. Sorry for seeing my disgusting neck. But Jesus, this guy is tiny. Just sorry if my stumpy fingers are getting in the way. But, oh man, that's some incredible, incredible work that Hasbro's done on that guy. Um, the arms do articulate. They've got ball joints. Sorry if it keeps dipping in and out of focus. It's just because this guy is so damn small. He's got some markings on the back of his head there. On the back. And, of course, his uh, visor does articulate, so you can pop that down. It looks like a little welding mask. This guy is just adorable. I love I love my little teeny things like this that they include with the figures. And I hope Hasbro keeps it up as and when they can. The only thing that some people may find a little bit um, off about Babu Freak when they come to see the film. And just judging from the picture on the box. Although this isn't a critique at all. I don't want to make this a critique at all. Um, but it's just the fact that, of course, because he is so small, you can't really include the beard or whiskers that he has on his mouth there. But I think Hasbro's done a really good job of, you know, making something like this into this kind of size and into this scale. And uh, if I zoom out, because I think I've shown you enough of him, the torso does rotate on him as well, I forgot to mention. But yeah, the fact that they've in started including... Little accessories like this with figures is great. I remember when the first wave of Last Jedi figures were released and they had that Luke Skywalker which just came with no accessories. I, I just don't get why they couldn't have just included a pack of these porgs with him. And 
this is literally how they release these porks, just in a box like this. Hasbro could have almost done that with Babu Frick and uh, Dio, because I think Dio was made by Babu Frick. So they could have almost done the same thing here. How cack would have that been? I'm so glad, I'm so freaking glad that they included him with C3PO. Props to Hasbro for not cheaping out with us and not trying to scalp us. I'm really impressed with Babu Frick. I love the articulation. I love the little details on him. In terms of C3PO's articulation, he has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulder, swivel at the top of the bicep, a hinge in the elbows, which um, they do move with the rod in as well. The rods actually move independently, so you can move them forward and backwards, and that's not gonna hinder articulation. It has a ball jointed wrist, ball jointed torso, ball jointed hips, a swivel at the top of the thigh, hinged knees, and a ball jointed ankle with a rocker joint. So that's near enough all the articulation you would want with a C-3PO figure. I'm really, really impressed with both of these. I think this C-3PO is a bit of a step up from previous ones, not by much, but just enough to warrant a purchase. Um, and the fact that it comes with Babu Frick, I mean, come on, that's, that's a cool little figgy. And uh, if you really want, you can have him perched on his shoulder, um, have him tweaking on C-3PO's, you know, the back of C-3PO's head there. Just a really, really cool figure pack. If you can get your hands on it, definitely do so. It really does raise questions about the film, and that's what I like most about this figure pack. So, definitely, definitely recommended. And that pretty much wraps it up for this review. Let me know in the comments below if you're thinking of picking this set up. Have you already picked it up? Let me know what you think of it. And this is me, Daniel East 1000, signing out, and thank you very much for watching.